Hi FoodTube, I'm Bart of Bart's Fish Tales. Welcome to ESK in the south part of the Netherlands. And I'm standing here at this beautiful spot, beautiful scenery, and we're going to make a classic seafood dish, which will be homemade scampi and chips. So we start with our seafood hero today, which are the scampis. Well, actually, it comes from Italy. The name comes from Italy, where scampo is one single langoustine and scampi are more. And we are used to name it like scampi today, but this is the original version. And they live in the colder waters of Scotland, Iceland, Norway. Uh, you can find them easily sustainable certified, at least sustainable. And they have a bit of sweet taste. It's really delicious. It's awesome. So the first step I'm going to take is take off the tail and peel them. You first take the tail off. Then this part. I press on it. So you break the downside of the shell, then we open it. You press on the tail side right here. And you easily, carefully take out the tail. Okay, here you see this grip. You hold it and it comes out easily. You don't want to have this into your shrimp, prawn, or in this case, langoustine, because this will give a bitter taste at the end. Okay, so here we have the head and the claws. I'm going to keep them for a nice stock or a nice sauce. And now the next step, we're going to make homemade chips because this is scampi and chips. So I have some potatoes here. Uh, find the right one to make chips, like a Maris Piper would be a perfect one. And actually, I'm going to cut them with the skin on. And I cut like these like nice little yellow moons. So we boil them for six minutes with a bit of salt. Okay, homemade tartare sauce, mayonnaise, got like two, three tablespoons right here. So on every tablespoon of mayonnaise, I use like one gherkin. Not too small because I like to have it a bit rustic, this tartare sauce. One teaspoon of Dijon mustard. So I add this to the mayonnaise. Some capers. So I cut them into smaller pieces. Add this. Shallot. Next step, the green herbs. Some parsley and tarragon. Tarragon re goes really well with seafood, especially also deep fried seafood. Some pepper, a bit of lemon juice, some salt. So to finish off the tartare, I have a hard boiled egg, cut it in half, take a sieve and I press on it like this. What you see is the egg is really getting really fine. And this is what we add to the tartare sauce. And now I give it a mix. So the potatoes have been boiling for six minutes and let's scoop them out. And I'm going to heat oil, vegetable oil, up to 180 degrees Celsius, which is around 350 Fahrenheit. So now we make the batter and we want to have the batter light and crunchy. So I first add like 220 grams of flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, a pinch of salt, sparkling water. And why we add sparkling water? We want to have bubbles because bubbles make the batter light. And another, another thing which what would make the batter light is that you have it in the fridge for like half an hour because the cooler a batter is, the more light the end result will be. So actually on 220 grams flour, we use like 250 ml approximately of liquid. And my little trick for a batter is I use a little bit of honey. Gives a nice color to the batter. So the water is really rising right now. We need to be careful. Okay, so we add the chips into the oil. So we deep fry them until beautifully crispy and golden brown. Let me have a check. Beautifully, they're light golden brown. Super delicious, they look uh, awesome. I have them on my piece of kitchen paper. So the chips are ready, we go to our final step, langoustines, we're going to deep fry it. I have these through the batter, get rid of the excess batter, add it into the pan. This is amazing guys, almost ready. I give them no more than three, maybe four minutes because I want to have them like caramelized, golden brown from the outside, which is crunchy and crispy. And I want to keep them smooth and tender from the inside. Yes, this is beautiful. Golden brown and crunchy. A bit of salt, a bit of salt on both. So the chips and the scampi. And now it's time to plate up. So I've cut a nice, beautiful square of fat-free paper. And I'm going to add the nice 
golden brown scampi. Some nice chips here. Get a nice piece of lemon, a bit of the beautiful tartare sauce. And now I finish it off with some homemade ketchup. And if you want to know how to make your homemade ketchup, click on the link at the end of this video. It was a race against the water. Time for a taste. Scampi, langoustines and homemade tartare sauce. Wow. It's really sweet, really crunchy as you can hear. And it's delicious. I have a little piece of my chips. Mmm, amazing. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more delicious seafood recipes, please head over to my channel. Bart's Fish Tales, where I travel the world to cook, fish and live together with the most fantastic fishing communities, sustainable. If you have any questions, leave them down in the box below. Um, if you like this video, give it your thumbs up and hope to see you soon. Bye bye!